and welcome to Little Learners. It's one of my favourite times of year, autumn, which means Halloween is on its way. But how can you decorate your pumpkins without carving them? You want to stay safe, of course, with those little fingers around. Well, I've got four designs to show you, so let's begin. It's a good idea to wash your pumpkin first, just to get any of the grit or grime off of it. Don't worry if it's got lumps and bumps, all pumpkins are beautiful. So we are going to be making a skeleton first, so I am going to be using some black glitter. This sponge brush, although you can use any kind of brush, I just find the sponge is quite easy to use. And I'm also going to be using acrylic paint in white and black. Now, you could try using water-based paints, but they just don't work. Trust me, I tried. Acrylic paints are available completely safe, but you just have to be aware that they can stain clothes, so don't wear your best outfit when you and your child are painting your pumpkin. So, I am painting my pumpkin completely white, and then I am moving on to the detail using a few different sizes of paintbrush. So first of all, I'm drawing two circles for the eyes. You really don't have to be precise with this. That's the beauty of it, which means it is totally child friendly. Then I'm going to draw a long, thin smile because I want a happy skeleton. I'm then painting some vertical lines across the smile line we've just drawn to create the skeleton mouth effect. Again, these do not need to be precise. Now we move on to the black glitter. As you will know if you have watched my videos before, glitter is my favourite part of any craft. So I just put a bit of PVA glue on my paintbrush, just a very thin layer, painted my black eyes with the PVA glue and then used a sponge brush just to sponge on some glitter using my hand for any fallout, although it wasn't really needed in the end. And once it's dry, you have a sparkly eyed skeleton pumpkin. Moving on to our spider pumpkin, I am painting the entire pumpkin black. And once it's dried, I am getting out my yellow acrylic paint for the eyes. <gasps> but wait, I forgot the glitter. Cover the pumpkin completely in PVA glue, apart from where the eyes should go. I used a couple of pieces of circular card to cover up the eyes and then cover the PVA glue in black glitter. Once you've done that and while it's drying you can start doing the yellow eyes or any colour that you like and then I just used this small circular sponge to make the pupils of the eyes which I decided would be white. Then we move on to the legs. We will need eight. I'm going to be using black pipe cleaners for the legs. At the very end of the pipe cleaners you'll notice that there is a little bit of wire because wire runs completely through it. You can use the end of the wire just to poke it into the top of the pumpkin and they stay attached really well so you don't need to glue them or tape them into place. And there you have it, if I zoom out there you have eight legs that bounce around. I think it's one of my favourite pumpkins to be honest. Okay, so now moving on we are going to be making a witch. For our witch we are going to need a pointy nose because we are making a stereotypical green pointy nosed witch. So I've cut out a triangular piece of card and just folded a little tab at the end. Made a little snip so that I can fold it in half and it will adhere to the pumpkin like so. I've also cut out two circles, one that I can make into a cone and then one that is slightly larger for the base of the witch's hat. 
If you have coloured card, that's great. If not, you can just use your acrylic paints to paint the card, which I will have to do because I don't have any coloured card left. So I painted my entire pumpkin green and you can see in the background there I have painted the hat and the nose ready for the next bit of the craft. So I am just putting in the eyes there, I used a sponge brush and then just tidied them up but of course they don't need to be precise at all. I then PVA glued the little tabs I made on the nose and held that on to the pumpkin. It did keep falling off, so I just put some PVA glue around the top of the nose as well, just to make sure that it really stuck on there. And of course the PVA glue will dry clear, so it's not a problem. I then had this kind of shredded tinsel, which I thought would look really nice for the hair. So I put some PVA glue on the top. You could use maybe wool or string, or you could cut some strips of card for the hair anything you want really. And once everything is dry you can add the hat, some pupils to the eyes and a nice smile because we like a happy witch on this channel. I of course added some glitter to the hat because I cannot help myself. And would you check out that nose? I love it. Okay so for our last pumpkin creation we are actually going to be using some medical bandaging kind of crepe bandage anything you can get your hands on really in the local pharmacy and the only painting we're going to do with the acrylic paints is some black eyes we're then going to completely cover the pumpkin in PVA glue and then wrap the bandaging around in just any which way you like you can fasten it with some tape and then just kind of move the bandages around so that you're happy with them, make sure that the eyes are poking through, leave a little gap for those, put some PVA glue on the bandages and then of course finish off with some glitter on the bandages and on the eyes. I'm using white glitter and silver glitter. And there you have it, a very quick, easy and cute little mummy pumpkin. So that's the end of our pumpkin creation video today. I am so pleased with how all of these turned out and they are all completely child friendly, really easy for children to do, even small children with adult supervision. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favourite. I'm really keen to know if you like this video, if you think you might try out some of these please do give this video a thumbs up as it really helps out my channel and of course if you want to see more videos like this be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching if you do make any of these pumpkins please be sure to share pictures with me you can share them on my social media pages I have Facebook, Instagram and Twitter I will leave the links for all of those in the description box below as always Again, thank you so much for watching, have a spooky October, and I will see you next time.